I am the worst football manager ever and welcome back to uh, this Let's Play with Aldershot on Football Manager 2015. It is wonderful to have you back um, with me today and, uh, and, and I feel uh, mildly excited because I actually had some uh, comments on previous videos um, providing me with some advice on how I can become a slightly better football manager. And um, so hopefully I'm going to try and begin to take some of your advice. So if you have further advice for me, please comment to this video please click the subscribe button um, give me a thumb up I want to get as many people um, helping me out as possible with whatever advice you can offer as you're watching this video give me some advice give me words of wisdom on the football manager front because I'm not doing too badly at the moment I'm in 12th position played uh, four games so far of the season um, and the good news those of you who saw the last video um, episode 5 uh, where I lost 2-0 to, to Bristol Rovers you can see here from my fixture list that actually I finally won my first game of the season against Sutton United at home um, the 18th of August now uh, let me just show you a little brief thing the main reason being my key part played outstanding 8.6 look at how many shots on target Sutton had 17 shots on target and I had a mere five but the good thing was is that two of them went in so uh, we got Ryan Jarvis off the mark Sam Hatton scored a penalty on the 75th minute so even though really we didn't have most possession we didn't have as many shots on goal um, we had more fouls than them generally, generally we didn't play great good news is we still won the game so you know it's all about the final score at the end of the day it's about getting the ball in the back of the net and that's what we did twice against Sutton so we're off the mark um, we're in 12th place at the minute um, I really want to aim for a playoff place this season but I'm going to need help from you so please any advice any words of wisdom would be really greatly appreciated um, just a little bit of a uh, heads up as of the recording of this video obviously it might change depending on when you're watching it but um, the recording of this video I've had a couple of comments from uh, vocab guru which has been really uh, fascinating to hear him first he said um, or he or she said uh, choose friendlies and tailor the squad um, to, to what you're gonna play so he said he would choose and really tailor the friendly so he suggested um, if I'm playing a bad team no no if I'm put, I want to try out my youngsters in a friendly lead and put a bad team on uh, and if I'm gonna um, try out my first team in a friendly then put put them in a challenging game which is a good point obviously it's not much help to me when I'm four games into the season but you know when I get round to the next season I'll try that out so thanks a lot for that vocab guru he also actually suggested that um, I give a, a team talk at half time now in honesty I do tend to give team talks um, but you know there's always that dynamic of like you know do you go co encouraging do you sort of have a massive go at them and tell them to sort of sort their lives out i don't know but anyway that's helpful as well and also football manager youth development um check out that channel um as well F football manager youth development has also asked me the question how can i help and so i've had a little look at their videos and he's just created all these videos of help and support which is really really kind really helpful so i appreciate that now let me show you some of the things that are going on kevin kranz one of my players um sort of an attacking midfielder sometimes i play him up front he's just been injured so he's out for four weeks which is a shame um, under 21's playing and uh, the next game is against Hayes and Yeeding or Yeading I have no idea how you pronounce that um, they suggest I go into defensive position and how are they doing in the league they're 20th so they're not doing well I don't think they're a particularly great club I don't think they're yeah see media predict them to be 24th so bottom of the league so to be fair I'm going to stick with attacking movement if I'm Ultimately, I should be the favourites for this game. They're saying folks on defence and positioning, but no, I think we need to stick with attacking movement. If they're not a good side, surely you've got to go attacking. Um, my board have also said to me they want me to go attacking, so we'll probably stick with that, I think, and see how we go. Um, anyway, I've got a few, gays, a few days left yet before the game. You can see they've got an older shot under 18s game to play as well. I'd be interested to know how much. Um, do you let your players go and play in under 18 games um, you know it seems to be often popping up saying you know do you want to make them available for that game do you want them to get involved I, I'm, I don't know I, I never quite know I tend to just stick in players there that I know aren't going to be playing in the first team so that they get some sort of a game um, whether that's the right thing to do I don't know what, what do you think should it be 
you know, should I not, you know, just let the under-18s run themselves with their own players, or should I actually offer up some of my players I've brought in to play for them? I'm not quite sure. I'd be interested to hear what you think about that. Anyway, right. Uh, clash report on Mullins. Sean Mullins is um, one of my uh, Shamir Mullins. Sorry, he's one of my newish players I've brought in. Uh, he's had a chat. He has some comments to make about his progression. He's done okay. There's no significant change in his overall ability, so it would be good if he was afforded more time. Well, the problem is, he's not quite good enough. He's a 21-year-old striker. Uh, to be fair, my other strikers haven't been playing that well yet either. So maybe it is worth giving him a try. Uh, there's some youngsters getting a pre-contract. Um, not very many tickets sold for this game. Um, we're playing away, aren't we? Uh, so we're not playing at their venue. So we're not playing at home, so that's alright. I don't really care about that. Uh, anyway, we are the favourite. Oh no, oh, Hayes are the favourites for the game, so, oh well, never mind. Here we go, here we go. Make available first team players for the under all shot under 18s game. I think I uh, will uh, on go in 60 minutes. I think I'll on go 90 minutes. He's a keeper, so it's not like he uses much energy anyway. Uh, we'll leave that, we'll leave that. That'll do for now. And we'll see how they do, and then we're going to play in our game against uh, Hayes and Yedding. Or yeeding. Who knows? Uh, comments on a postcard, please. Hashtag yeeding or hashtag yeeding. I've no idea. Um, leave your comments. That'd be really helpful so I don't embarrass everybody from that place. Or not embarrass them, just annoy them probably more than anything. But uh, yeah, anyway. Hope you're well. I hope you are good this morning or this afternoon or this evening. Uh, whenever it is you are watching, I hope you are enjoying your football manager life. Um, I'm certainly enjoying mine. I've got this uh, time off work today so that's why I'm being able to create this video which is a lovely little treat for me to enjoy and appreciate um, but anyway I'd love your feedback as well on these videos in general are they interesting are they listen to fun to listen to or not are they mega boring you've probably switched off by now if they are boring so um, that was a bit of a pointless question anyway right okay match preview let's have a little look at see how we're doing come on right, team selection Okay, so here we go. Um, team selection. I tend to one of the first things I tend to look at is the are the condition of the players. Um, if they are under 90, then I get a little bit concerned. You can see it, look, these three midfielders here um, are looking a little bit tired. Um, so maybe I I'll look some of our, our defenders are looking tired as well. Um, who have I got? Let's I think, let's just go back to the squad for a minute. Uh, and we'll see what they're looking like. Let's keep, keep the keeper in. The keeper played well last game. Obviously got man of the match, I think, as well, which is pretty good. Um, let's, uh, Glenn Wilson is my captain. I'll leave him on. Let's take this guy off and put in this. I'll put in Tom Field, who's a sort of, um, he's on loan with me this this uh, this one round. I think, how many games has he played so far? I'm not sure if he's, uh, how many appearances he's had, to be honest. Um, Oh, he's only had one appearance for us so far. So, yeah, give him another try. Why not, eh? Give him a bash. See how it goes. Um, uh, Josimar Quintero, um, newish guy for me. Uh, hasn't played badly. Simon Dunn was exhausted by the end of the game, so I'm not bringing him on. Shamir Millens, this is this guy, uh, who they're saying he could do with some first-team experience. Now, am I ready to do that? You know what? I'm not ready to just give in to his wishes and his desires at the moment because I think we, we just need to get some wins in our back. Sam Hatton scored a penalty last game. Let's bring him on, shall we, and take off this guy, Sam Whitehall, who uh, 87%. He's looking a little bit tired. Could probably do with a bit of a rest. Um, and we've got Jordan Roberts on, and we've got... Um, yeah, we've got this couple, a couple of guys here. Oh, yeah, that'll be fine. OK, I'm happy with that. OK, so come on, boys. This is it. We've got one win under our bag. We're in top form, winning the whole one game this season. Uh, two nil. We've gone a whole game without letting one in. So you know you've got to, you've got to look at the silver linings amidst this cloudy, thorn, thundery weather that we're in. Um, 12th position. Let's see if we can get it up to a little bit higher. Um, I tend to um, close down the strikers. Let's do a bit of that. Um, let's see how we get on. Okay, team talk. So. Um, uh, vocab guru, I'm taking your advice with the half-time team talk, but I'm also going to give them a team talk before we go out as well. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's a standard thing to do. It's got to be, isn't it? Um, we are the favourites here. We're not the favourites, so are we? I was just told by the media we're not the favourites. So good luck out there. 
Oh, none of them are that fussed by what my, my wonderful team talk. Let's get a bit passionate. I have faith in you. Yeah, that's a bit better. Strikers, uh, I have faith in you. Get out there and make a difference. It makes no difference to their mood at all. Let's just crack on with this game, shall we? Um, oh, all a bit loud. Okay, so always like to keep an eye, a keen eye, close eye on the game, see how we're getting on. Love to see Ryan Jarvis having a goal this game. We'd love to see Brett Williams getting getting off the mark this season. He was our top scorer last year, so to have him not scoring anything is a bit odd, really. Um, but yes, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Oh, good grief. It's not a good start, boys. 12 minutes in and we 1 0 down. <laughs> oh, Art well. Brilliant, mate. Thanks very much for that. Let's have a look at the goal. Look, no, look at it. Free header. They weren't marking him well at all. Art's well. Let's tell you what. No, oh, I don't know. Shall I? Yeah, let's go on some tactics. Let's look at the opposition. Um, Art's well is a right midfielder. Close him down. Um, I'm guessing they just weren't marking him in the in the corner. Do you know what I mean? Oh dear, not a good start, boys. Come on, all the shot. Lovely day though, 28 degrees out there. As I just saw there on the um, on the, is Jarvis Ryan Jarvis. Go on, great cross. Ah, oh, Williams. Ah, oh. oh, he would have been ruined that chance. Oh mate, what a chance to get off the mark. It was a great play from uh, Ryan Jarvis. Well done, son. It's all come on. Let's let's use this as a positivity. Positivity. Ryan Jarvis, edge of the box. Is Britt Williams? Oh, that's another chance. It would have been some goal. 25th minute is a corner. At Sam Hatton. Come on, boy. Oh, it's gone over all of them. It's got. Oh, it went off for a corner. They must have had a little nick on that. Sam Hatton the other side. Yep. Puts the corner in. Oh, terrible. It's a disappointing, mate. It's a disappointing corner. I'm not happy about this. Brett Williams is. is oh, I'll tell you what. Brett Williams is primed for a goal in this game, isn't he? Look, let's make some changes here. We're superior in the air. We should get some heads on it. Obviously not superior in, head, in defending, though, were we? Because we let in a defen defensive... Uh, the, you know, in a cross from a corner. That's how they scored their goal from a header. Oh, well. 35 minutes gone, roughly. Still 1-0 down. See, we are playing a defensive mentality. I'm going to push it up to counter, you know, because I think... I didn't realise that. Oh, it's probably not that helpful. I should probably look at my um, instructions that I'm telling the team to do. We're on a counter-attack now. I'll tell you what I might do. OK, halfway. Half-time. Artwell put them 1-0 up. Um, my team have been playing in a defensive mentality all half, so no wonder we're not scoring. So let's go into control mentality. Um... It's kind of like middle of the ground, isn't it? It's not quite full on, you know, breaking your back, pushing the whole people forward, but it's putting us something there. Now, vocab guru, if you are watching this, this is what I'm going to do, my friend. Um, passionate. Come on, boys. I know you can do much better than this, and I expect to see it in a half. We can still win this. Keep hard working hard, and it will come. I'm going to do that. Brett Williams, looking frustrated, but you know what? He's actually been playing all right, so I'd quite like to... I wonder whether you're able... I think you are, aren't you? Aren't you able... Individual talk, there you go. You weren't about to do that. Get out there and do it. See how that impacts him. List... Oh, oh and I, I gave it to the wrong player, but never mind. I've given it to Jarvis, but, you know, I trust him as well. Um, I believe what you've got what it takes. I believe you've got what it takes, Brett Williams. He vaguely listened... But whatever. Come on, boys. This is it now. We're going to take control of this match. This is ours for the taking. I want to see some key players stepping forward. Shamir Mullins is on the edge, ready to come out at any moment. He's ready, prepared. 74. Brett Williams is looking a little bit tired, and he's now picked up a knock. So maybe this is time to bring him off. 6.1. He's not having a good game. Oh, my word. Osler, you idiot. Oh. Jordan Roberts gets a yellow. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no, scored. Derry. This is bad. OK, right, Brett Williams, you're coming off, mate. We haven't got time for this. Shamir, Shamir Mullins, you're going to have to get on there. You're going to have to pull off something fantastic here, my friend. Uh, confirm and give him a team talk. I'm going to... 
let's go passionate I have faith in you get out there and make a difference seem deep in thought well don't think about stuff mate just just do it I don't want you to think about it I want you to get out there and do something good on the football pitch that's what you're here for that's what I bought you for to score goals Brett Williams is injured well he's not really he's just had a knock come on Shamir come on boy this is not good my friend OK, as you're watching this, you're probably recognising all the common mistakes that I must be making here. 2-0 against Hayes, who are predicted to be 24th in the league. I'm going to go attacking because we've got to do something here. Lathrop, come on, Jarvis. Why are you doing? Why are you losing it like that? Are you shooting on sight? Shoot on sight, hit early cross. No, don't float crosses. Don't hit early crosses. Play wider, get stuck in. Yeah, that's all right. Punch higher tempo. Come on, Quintero, Lathrop, Mullins. Oh, I tell you what, he would have been an absolute hero if he'd scored. Then would have been seriously making his point. His field, his field, Mullins. Oh, unlucky mate. Unlucky. Seventieth minute. I think we've had it. See, Glenn Wilson's looking a little bit tired as well, eh, Captain? Quintero. Let's get it out. This is it, Mullins. This is it. This is your moment. Ah, yes! Come on, boy! First ever goal for order shot. What a hero. What a hero. This is it now. We can do this. We can actually do this. This is possible. This is possible. 72th minute from the 80th. What's that? Oh! <gasps> Free kick, they've had the player sent off. We've got to push up. Overload it. We've got to push it up. Push everything up now. Oh my goodness, they've scored. I didn't even see it. Free kick, Hatton. Keeper saved it. Oh no, he scored it straight from the free kick. Oh, incredible. Okay, keep it attacking. I don't want to overload it now. We've still got um, 10 minutes to play on this. Oh, what a match. What a match. All right, Sam Walter, you're coming on. Lathrop, you're off. You're looking tired there, my friend. You've played well. I'll tell you what, I'm bringing my captain off as well. Oh, guys, this is amazing. To all. This is, this, is, uh, this is what dreams are made of. This is a team playing well. This is a team who really feel it, who are wanting it. So it was Dean Inman. It was him that was sent off, not Artwell. 85th minute. They're a man down. We can do this. Come on, Michael. Come on, boys. Oh, Mullins. One on one with the keeper. Yeah! Yeah! Oh! What a goal. What a move. Oh, my goodness. What a turnaround. Oh, look at this. Oh, oh what a state for a claim in the first side from Sean Mullins. Right, let's, let's, let's hold it back. Let's hold it back, boys. Let's hold it back. Roberts, this is absolutely marvellous. Here's Ryan Jarvis. Mullins through his hat trick. Penalty! It's a penalty! Oh! <laughs> oh my goodness! Right, player, I wonder if I can. Penalties. Let's see if I can put Sean Mullins in. I feel as if I should put Sean Mullins in. Oh, they've just received their second red card. Did you see that? At the bottom. Oh, this is bad. Oh. Right. Come on. I want to swap him. Sean Mullins. Let's see if he will play. I'm not sure if, uh, if it might be too late to change the penalty taker. Come on. Are you going to show it? Begins running up. He's done it. Oh, hat trick for Mullins. That must clinch it. 4 2. Oh my goodness, look at, oh, <laughs> what a game, what a game for Shamir Mullins, oh my goodness, that's a lesson from me, eh, isn't it, that is a lesson for me, give players the chance, give them the opportunity, and when they've got to prove themselves to it, look at that, 9.5, oh, the shots, what a match, what a match. They deserve a lot of credit for that, as Matt Gray says. I fully deserve it. You've done brilliantly to come back and win. I'm proud of you guys. Absolutely insane. That is absolutely incredible. Oh, looking very confident, Shamir Mullins. Player of the match, obviously. What a hat-trick. What a game. Whoa. 
Fantastic. This is a turnaround point for us. This could be a real turnaround point for our season. Even though we're only five games in, we're up to ninth place. Well done. Well done. Well done. Oh, I am the worst football manager ever, but right now, I don't feel it. That's the end of this one. We'll see you soon. Thanks for tuning in. Remember, subscribe, like. If you want more videos, please leave me comments. I'm on Twitter as well, at WorstFManager. And uh, you can um, tweet me on there. Give me more advice. I realise I'm not there yet. I'm, this is just one game I've just won here. But there's plenty more games to come. And I've got to take each game as they come. But uh, thanks for always listening. We'll tune in next time. See you later.